What's up everybody? Rowdy Riles here back with another video. Today we've got not one but two. We've got Crosshair and Hunter from the Bad Batch. So that's cool. I was like, let me stop into Target before work because I have a feeling it's Friday. Let me just check. I never get lucky. Today I did because I have every other figure that I want from this wave. They all, they had every figure. They had, you know, Asajj, they had Bo-Katan, they had the Elite trooper which i didn't want because it just has one gun it's a black clone trooper <laughs> but i i definitely wanted these two because bad batch looks great and they look great so there's a quick look at the front of the box it says star wars the bad batch on both of them in a dark red mickey maroon crosshair and hunter star wars the black series lots of accessories on these guys <laughs> we've got the artwork on the side for the mural I think they fit right next to each other. Yeah, they do. So that's cool. And we've got both the blurbs on the back. The Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, is a result of the Kaminoan experiments to create a specialist unit of clone commandos. Crosshair is a teen sniper whose sharp vision gives him superior accuracy and as a result, an air of superiority. So that's, of course, Crosshair. And then the Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, is a result of Kaminoan experiments to create a specialist unit of clone commandos. Hunter, the leader, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinarily keen senses that give him an edge when tracking down his targets. So that's cool. Hunter is number one. Let me switch these really quick. I probably had the mural wrong too, so that's embarrassing. So number one and two in that wave. So let's fix that. There we go. There's the proper mural, mural, sorry. You can see it a little bit better with the lighting out of the way. With that being said, let's get these bad boys out of their box. Here we got Hunter and Crosshair out of the box together with their accessories all loaded up on them. There's the front view. Sorry, my arm's in the way there. I'll do the other side. There's the front view. A little wobbly, I'm afraid they're gonna fall. There's the side view. You can see Crosshair Sniper fits on his back. They both have a backpack. There's a little quick view at the back. You can see their heads poking out under there. We'll get into the head sculpts later. They have the same coloring on their armor. It's pretty pretty uniform all around. Different helmets, uh, different paint on the helmets, uh, different shoulder pads, uh, different little flourishes on the armor. Hunter has a pistol and he doesn't come with a, a holster for it, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, that's a quick look at them out of the box. We'll get into articulation and accessories in just a minute. Let's go over the articulation and accessories for Hunter here. So he's got his head on a ball peg, which actually, you can see mine comes off really easily. It got stuck in the helmet, so something to look out for. Um, full 90 at the shoulders. Um, these don't get in the way. They go under and they're really rubbery, so that's good. Um, single elbows, they come in. One of the accessories here I wanted to show you guys with the articulation is the little knife that comes out and goes back in. So that's pretty cool. Um, the wrist, both, that one's on and up, or side to side, unfortunately. That one's on and up down, which is awesome. 90 degrees there. A uh, ball peg at the torso, swivel on that. No waist swivel. Um, you've got these legs that come out pretty far. I think that's why they did it. And that's about as far back as the knee goes because these are single kneed legs if they're the old one. I mean because they're the old stormtrooper legs. So yeah, they're single. Single knee can't kick his own butt. And these legs and ankles are a little bit hard to move and they're also loose at the same time, which is weird. But yeah, that's the articulation for Hunter. Let's look at his accessories real quick other than the knife. So he comes with his helmet right here. Nice detail on that. It's not warped or anything. The shape is good, but his head did get stuck in there and it did pop off. So keep that in mind. So there's the helmet. We've got the little blaster that both he and Crosshair came with. Um, then we got the other blaster, which is unique to this guy, Hunter, as well. Detailed on that. No wash on it to be seen, unfortunately, but that's okay. You can't win them all. And then you've got his backpack right there. Um, so it's upside down, that's the right way. Uh, it doesn't store anything, unfortunately. It'd be cool if the guns were stored on there, but there's some paint on it and it's got some detail. 
And then there's one more look at his knife really quick. Right here, it's got yellow on it. It's got some detail on it. It's pretty cool. Sorry for my dry hands. It's late. They haven't moisturized yet. Um, so there's Hunter's accessories and articulation. The first of Hunter's accessories is his rifle, which detaches right here. I think it's for easier posing. Not sure. It hasn't made it much easier for me, but it's got nice detail on it. It's cool. It's 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 a new weapon. That's always awesome. We got his backpack, which stores that rifle. Um, I'll show you how. Let me see. Give me a second to figure it out. I think it goes like this. No. Which way is the top? This way is the top, so it goes in like that. And it just clicks in there. So that's a cool little addition. I love storage for stuff. There's this helmet with the rangefinder that goes up and down on there. And then lastly, you've also got his blaster. And let's go over his articulation. It's basically the same as Hunter's. Up, down, up, down on the ball hinge. His head's tighter than that. Uh, his shoulders and arms come out 90. Same ball joint at the waist or swivel. It's blocked a little bit by this. Uh, so don't want to ruin that. No thigh turn. Uh, legs come out. Not blocked by the holster at all. Don't come in to kick his butt because they're the old legs and they don't have double knees. Uh, his feet are a little bit better than Hunter's. They're still a little bit wonky. And um, the hands side to side peg on that up down on that so that's good there's a look at his face there's a little crosshair tattoo and yeah so that's the articulation and accessories for crosshair and then lastly today for scale and comparison we've got the bad batch boys with a bunch of their buddies from the clone wars we've got the 332nd ahsoka clone we got captain rex and we got wolf and it looks like they're actually a little bit taller than all the clones um, I know I don't have <clears throat> them all standing completely straight, but it looks like they got a little bit more height on those legs. Um, just because they're using, I don't know, I think they're using the older legs on top of the new body. Not too sure. But there you can see all the shinies next to each other with all of the Django-ish looking faces. More so Captain Rex and Wolf than these two because, you know, they've got different genetics that's why they're Bad Batch. They got cool little abilities and specialties about their genetics. So yeah, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. Um, you know, hit that bell, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and I'll say they were totally worth it because they were totally worth it to me. Bye-bye.